Okay, so this was only my second interview in Jackson, Mississippi, and I squished the two guys very close together. Um, it looks a little weird, so just overlook it because the story is a very important one. Originally, I was just going to interview them, uh, Senator John Horn and Director of Tourism Malcolm White, about the Blues uh, Commission, which is a very unusual state government uh, concept, and the Blues Trail. But my first surprise came when they acknowledged that they didn't even know how important or beloved the blues were outside of the state of Mississippi till later in life. And my second interview, my second surprise, was when they told me how the blues had actually sparked the creative economy in Mississippi. Especially heartwarming is my interview with Dr. Edgar Smith, who grew up on the Delta and credits the blues musicians of the day with helping his grandmother keep him in line. Today he is the retired Vice President of Academics from the University of Massachusetts and the former Provost of their medical school. His love for the blues musicians and his sensitivity to their hard times come together in his role on the Blues Benevolence Committee in which funds musicians who are going through a tough time. I marvel at how he overcame so spectacularly the fina financial deprivation of his, of his past. And it's such a warm-hearted example of how the love of his grandmother and the blues musicians conquered all. Enjoy the video.